proud of her. And definitely, as Greg just said, a wonderful cause there. Well, last night we reported on Prince's toxicology test, finding he died from an accidental overdose of opioid fentanyl. Well, today, KTK's Care Pritchard sat down with a local doctor for answers about this dangerous drug and how it's affecting our state. Here's our report. Medical examiners officially calling Prince's death an accident after finding high levels of fentanyl in the pop icon's bloodstream. And it's a very strong opiate that's often used in a patch, less commonly as a liquid. It's used in a patch at times as a time release form for very severe pain. 50 times more potent than heroin. He says it's also made illicitly and sold on the streets, delivering a super high, a drug that has been around since the 60s. A percentage of people who take these medications for acute pain will have trouble coming off of them because they can be very addictive, they can cause euphoria. On the flip side, he says they're very effective for those who need them. Reports say Prince lived with constant hip pain after years of jumping around on stage. And while many questions are left unanswered in his death, Dr. Idell says opiate overdose is actually very common in East Texas. And you don't want to deny people who have had an injury or a fall or um, any type of accident like that, that pain control at the beginning, which could potentially decrease pain in the long term. He says the CDC has released guidelines to help decrease the overprescription of opiates. Education is sort of the key that you know all the benefits versus the risks that um, yes, this can be a very helpful medication. It can also be very habit forming. Could potentially lead to, unfortunately, a lifetime of dependence in some cases. Especially when combined with other medications or alcohol. Kara Pritchard, KETK News.